when important buildings and structures are in need of masonry and concrete restoration, it's imperative that you hire a team you can trust to get the job done right. More than just restorative cleaning, RestoreWorks Masonry Restoration has the knowledge and the know-how to return value and restore pride to Chicago's greatest buildings. Let's learn more. RestoreWorks actually began as Midwest pressure washing in 1988 as a one-man pressure washing operation. As we did larger and larger projects, we found that we were very passionate about working on older historic projects. So then we started to add services like tuck pointing and masonry repairs. And uh, through the development of relationships with some of Chicagoland's most reputable architects and engineers and contractors and property managers, we've had the opportunity to work on some of Chicagoland's most famous and iconic buildings. And some of the projects that we're most proud of are Navy Pier, which we're working here right now, and the Wrigley Building, Chicago Tribune, the Art Institute of Chicago. We've had the opportunity to work at the Memorial Chapel at Duke University, and uh, even in Hawaii at the National Cemetery of the Pacific doing concrete repairs. The goal is not to necessarily make the building look new, but instead historically authentic by blending the work in with the existing appearance of a structure. When most people think of masonry restoration, they think of old buildings. RestoreWorks does work on newer buildings as well. Any type of building and any type of exterior repair, including masonry restoration, concrete restoration, terracotta, brick replacement, stone, usually driven by either something visible on the building that you can see a crack or, or some masonry out of place, or it could also be driven by leaks. But the goal in, in any of these repairs is to try and maintain as close as possible the original appearance of the building. And that's done by using matching brick or trying to use the existing materials on the building as much as possible. And if not, then finding a matching material that blends in with the building, the original components. RestoreWorks has crews that can repel down building facades. That's done with industrial rope access techniques. And the advantage of that is a reduced cost in accessing the building without the expense of hanging a suspended scaffolding, a swing stage, or putting up additional access equipment to reach certain areas. In spring of 2022, the Navy Pier Construction Group contacted the Hutchinson Design Group, who has worked previously on the pier to look into a phased application uh, restoration process for the pier. Our evaluation found that most of the work involved roofing and masonry. The pier being exposed to the elements in the lake was in severe deterioration. Further on, it, investigation and the detailing process for a long-term solution, we realized that there needed to be a holistic approach involving the coordination between mason and roofing contractor to tie in the waterproofing elements. The restoration process involves both the grinding of the mortar joints back three quarters of an inch and the pointing and steps, as well as the restoration of the sealant joints and the mortar joints in the stone coping. Properly detailed masonry, uh, we're looking at a 50-year service life. Doing it right, the roofs uh, on the project are all being designed for 30-year service life as well. When you have complex masonry restoration projects, the number one concern I have is the attainment of a quality contractor. Here at the Navy Pier Project, RestoreWorks has an excellent management team. Project managers, superintendent, foreman, who are all knowledgeable in all aspects of masonry restoration, but also who communicate well with me and the roofing contractor and ask questions questions and provide recommendations. With a passion for restoring and preserving architecture that can be enjoyed for generations to come, RestoreWorks truly works together as a team. Our team looks at their work not like they're just taking out mortar and bricks and putting that mortar back in. They really look at it as an opportunity to provide structures that people are gonna be able to appreciate for generations to come and be able to see how back in the early 1900s and even the 1800s, how people lived and how they built their buildings and the fact that they are able to preserve that for so many people to come to Chicago to enjoy is very rewarding for everybody on our team to be able to provide that type of feeling for people that come to the city of Chicago. For more information about RestoreWorks, visit their website, RestoreWorks.com. And of course, visit our website, 
at InsideTheBlueprint.com.